Hi there, everybody. Bold and Curious here. Uh, so, uh, question of the day. Carry with or without one in the chamber? Uh, I was browsing through something, uh, Facebook, Instagram, something, I, I don't know. And uh, somebody posted that, and that was a great comment. The guy commented that, uh, you know, basically, I don't care if you carry with or without one in the chamber, as long as you practice with it and are proficient. And then uh, there was a lady that chimed in and she mentioned she's Krav uh, trained. So basically Krav Maga, if you don't know what that is, it's an Israeli martial arts thingy. And my understanding is that IDF and Mossad and all these guys are, are trained to carry the guns without one in the chamber. And uh, even uh, Russian special forces uh, were like that. Actually, had a holster specially designed for the macro. So they, instead of drawing up, they would draw down, and it would rack the slide at the same token. Uh, so, uh, being a policeman, you know, a soldier, stuff like that, uh, it's a different story because you know you got to be ready. So split second does make a difference, and you carry from uh, open holster. You know, you basically open carry. So it's a, it's kind of a different story. I'm gonna take that out of the equation. Just gonna talk about the. Uh, about uh you know like a home defense kind of deal uh, a concealed carry and, and and all that now i'm gonna say right off the bat uh if if you're comfortable 100 percent carrying with a with a with a one in the chamber then absolutely do so but you still need to practice just because you have the courage and 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 confidence carry one in a chamber but you go to range once every two years you know maybe twice a year and put a 50 rounds through your carry gun then I hate to break it to you, you know, the guy that goes there every week and practices with the with the one without without the one in the chamber will probably kick your ass. So that's that's the biggest uh, biggest thing. Uh, so we're gonna put it to the test. I got my 365 uh, XL Spectre Comp or whatever the hell you call it, uh, the Gucci fancy 320 uh, 365, and uh, we're gonna do it with or without. Now. I didn't practice, I literally took one draw and rack it just kind of muscle memory. Now, me personally, it depends. I carry it both ways. Uh, gun, actually not this one, but 320 ZF sits in my uh, glove box, in the center console in my truck 24 seven. But I rarely go anywhere. I go to work, I go home, I go to work, I go home, I go to Home Depot, pick something up. I rarely grab the gun when I go to Home Depot because I just so much shit going on. And uh, to be honest, every time putting it on, and I probably got a better chance of ND than than you know actually using it. What I do carry almost exclusively if I go out with the family. Then I carry it pretty much all the time. Uh, and the only time I don't really carry one in the chamber is if we go to a movie theater because, for one, uh, you know I'm shifting the gun to get. You know, depending on the seats to get a good position and all that. Uh, that that's one thing. So, and and I don't want to be having it in the back of my head while watching the movie that I'm sitting and the whole time the guns pointed there. I know it's stupid. I know you should have a confidence in your in your in your gun, fire them and all that. But it's just it, it's it's mental thing. Plus, the way I kind of see it, if if this would have happened like a Aurora kind of scenario. Some moron comes in shooting like he did that, that Batman movie. Uh, you know, you, on one hand, you're gonna say the split second could save your life, but on the other hand, you need a split second to identify what the hell is going on. So at the same token, maybe that rack in the slide could be a, a difference between actually killing the innocent man, you know, or, or vice versa. So let's stop talking. Uh, we got empty chamber. Uh, I got another camera so you can watch me draw. I got a timer over here. Timer's on. And uh, we're going to try to be safe, nothing crazy. Draw two shots. Okay, draw two shots. Uh, I think I got six rounds, so let's do it three times. And then we'll do it three times with, uh, with uh, one in the chamber. So. Okay. Uh 
not something ain't right because that, that definitely wasn't 776. So I don't know what happened there. Let me see. I don't know what happened, so let's do it. Uh, let's do it again. Put two more rounds so you can do a uh, three sets. Right. Okay, 232. That sounds more like it. Again, empty gun. There you go, training, muscle memory. 338, there was a second. Two eighty eight. So with the mental mistake and all that, we're gonna overage, let's say, two fifty, right? Ah, uh, let me show you the hits first, right? So we got two alpha, Charlie, Delta, Charlie, Delta, Delta. So three Delta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shit. Two, four, five, six, seven. So we actually had a miss. I had a miss completely, huh? Yeah, that's not good. All right, now we go the right way <laughs> or ready way. And I couldn't find the dot, that was me. 275. Again, two, two, three. I need to practice with this gun more. I couldn't find a dot on a... So 316, so... What's the problem here? <laughs> because if we overage it, we... About two and a half seconds. So I don't really see that much of a difference. And the hits were not that much better either. So let's go take a look at the hits and then we'll talk. Well, you saw the hits before, right? One, two, three over here. I think these two and that one, that's that's uh, that's with the one in the chamber. So still all over the freaking place. Uh, I gotta redeem myself with that shooting. Uh, my dad was actually really, really dim for some reason. And I should have checked it before, but uh, let's do it again. Two Charlies, two forty two Alpha Charlie, one ninety four. Ah, uh, you see. Practice makes perfect. Uh, 
All right, 230, so yeah, a little better. Now, should probably do it with my Zev because I actually carry that and shoot a lot more than this uh, Spectacom. Uh, but boils down to what I'm trying to say, boils down to training. Uh, as, as far as I'm concerned, as long as you practice, I mean, the, the, it actually takes, takes me more to find the dot on the draw than it takes me to uh, rack the slide. So, uh, in my humble opinion, if you practice enough, that uh, racking that slide will, will, will you, you're hardly gonna miss a beat. You know, I mean, it can, it can definitely be, be done fast, especially with the, with the, with the red dot. You can, you know, you can do one of these, you know, this, whatever you want. But uh, you can definitely be fast. Now, will the trained person that carries one in the chamber be faster than the trained person that carries the one uh, without? Absolutely. Absolutely, it's going to be faster. Question is, how much faster? I mean, really, you know, quarter second? You know, uh, if, if you practice it right? So, is it, is it, worth, is it worth it for peace of mind? Uh, only you can answer that question. You know, this is this is really boils down to uh, to the guy that carries the gun. Ultimately, you're responsible for uh, uh, for yourself and for your actions. Uh, so you kind of have to uh, figure the plus and minus. Uh, you know, quarter second that you can gain, or let's say 30 percent uh, more of a chance you can have an ND. So I guess it all depends on the gun you carry, on on the pasture, on how. How uh, 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 how much you train and all, all the other stuff. So, bottom line, uh, it it uh, it boils down to a shooter, and and you know I shoot a lot better than that. So, this this crap over here is just training, which I don't really have enough training with this gun anymore. Although I like 365, I like the line. It's really uh, uh, easy to conceal. Uh, I kind of tend to like bigger guns now. So, that's uh, that's what I got for you. Uh, if you guys like this kind of video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, throw some comments down, see what you think. And uh, as always, have fun. Keep shooting.